Peace. What's happening, good people? This get fed for pay us no mind. And today I'm talking about symphonic distribution. Now, Symphonic is a digital distributor that does things a bit differently than other distributors that I've reviewed in the past. You know, I mean, their pricing even is different. They charge you a $25 registration fee up front. And that fee is one time. You pay that once and you're done. And then after that, you have to pay per release. So you have one to five tracks. And for that, you pay $10.99. You have one to 10 tracks. And for that, it's $19.99. One to 15 tracks is $29.99. One to 20 tracks is $39.99. And 24 tracks and above is $50. So they have all these different levels of how many, depending on how many songs that you're releasing and how much they'll, uh, in regards of how much they'll charge you for the release. Now, once you pay that upfront fee, you keep 100% of your royalties. So unlike a CD baby, you know, where you pay the upfront, fee, you pay the, uh, the fee for the release. And then on top of the fee for the release, they're taking 9% of every sale with symphonic. They don't take anything after that initial fee that you pay for the release. You pay your $39.99 or your $29.99. And that's it for that release. You make your, whatever you make, you keep 100% of it. They provide you with free UPC barcodes and ISRC codes, and that is great too. Now, when it comes to the release pricing model, they have like a ton of uh, pricing tiers. Like they don't allow you to set your own pricing. Like you can't go and say, hey, I only want to charge uh, 25 cent for a single. But they have like a whole long list of pricing tiers. It's almost dizzying. And you can get more information on them by checking out the white paper that i have in the description box is a link to the to uh the white paper in the description box you can check them out to get the full rundown on symphonic now speed of distribution they they basically again operate differently than every other distributor that i've seen every other distributor wants to say hey we'll, we'll get you and your, your music into the stores super fast give us a day give us three days you know, Symphonic is a bit differently. They're saying, oh, give us time, you know, because they're operating from the standpoint of giving yourself time in case or giving yourself a greater margin for error. Like, OK, well, if you are going to release your album today and or tomorrow and try to get your music into iTunes tomorrow, what if something goes wrong? Like, what if there's some type of conflict with iTunes and they need you to change something? And, you know, then it's like you're going to your schedule is going to be messed up. So they say, OK, well, give us 10 days to get your music in iTunes. And that way, if anything happens within that span of 10 days, you can correct it and you'll get you'll get off on the right foot. Same thing with the streaming platforms. They ask you to give them your music three to four weeks before your release for streaming platforms, because it can take from a week to three weeks to get your music in streaming platforms. And again, if there's error, errors, you know, and your album gets into the streaming platforms and everybody is streaming it, then it's more difficult to correct, you know, and also you're behind now, you know, because now people are actually listening to the music and going there, you know, so you have to play catch up. Stores, they get you into a ton of stores too, you know, really like, these are the most stores that I've seen that a digital distributor gets artists into. They get you into 73 stores. Now, a lot of these stores are specific to people who do electronic music. You know, stores like Beatport, you know, and uh, what's the other one? Pulse Locker and stores like that. Those are stores that pertain to electronic music. But when it comes to just regular music like hip hop and R&B, they get you into every music store that you need to be into. When it comes to how they pay, this is the sticky part for me you know this is what kind of like if i would say if i can say you know turns me off the symphonic they pay quarterly they pay every three months so whatever you make you know they hold it for three months and then on top of you know not allowing you to withdraw your funds for three months they impose a 50 dollars threshold so if you don't make 50 dollars, at least 50 dollars, you can't withdraw your money and it rolls over to the next month you know so 
I don't really dig that part of it, you know, holding your money for three months and then having a the threshold and everything, man, you know, because I'm a big fan of micro investments where if you get $10, you can take that $10 and run a, a Facebook campaign to promote your music, you know, so if you can't get your little $50 where you can take $10 or not your 50, but if you have like $30 in there, you can't take 10 of that 30 and, and promote your music and that will help you get more sales and hopefully, you know, make more money. Now, Symphonic pays through check, PayPal, bank transfer, Chase Quick Pay, Zoom, and MoneyGram. And there's fees attached with some of those payment options, and I have more information on that in the white paper. Now, when it comes to stats, I've never used Symphonic, so I've never, I've never gotten the opportunity to look at their back end. But fortunately, I had somebody hit me up on Facebook by the name of Sean Dan, who gave me or, or sent me some videos of the symphonic back end. And I got to say, it's pretty impressive, man. You know, and he kept saying it. He kept telling me that like, yo, man, the website is really good. And when I was looking at the back end from the videos that he sent me, you know, they the way that they structure it, you know, and in regards of how they section off, you know, your sales data and provide you with information on location where your sales are taking place, providing you with a map of where your sales are taking place. Those things are really, that I, I like it. I like it. It's really good. It's presented in a really good way. So I like the back end. I, 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 don't, I haven't really gotten to, to really look at a detailed sales report from them where I can see whether they provide you with all of the information you need. But from what I did see, it looked awesome. Now, when it comes to YouTube, they also offer a content ID program and channel management. And like a lot of other digital distributors, they take 30% of your revenue. Now, where Symphonic kind of excels at is in the extras that they provide. Like they do SoundCloud monetization and they do it differently than, you know, a lot of the other uh, companies that provide it as an option. Like, you know, Repost Network, you know, you have to have a minimum of like 7,000 streams per track in order to join repost. So there's like a wall there and where everybody else, you know, I mean, root note, they allow you to, they allow you to monetize on a uh, SoundCloud, but at the same time, I, I use them and I, I'm going to just say, I'm not a fan of it to say the least, you know, um, with symphonic, they give you a lot of control in regards of SoundCloud monetization where, you know, you can choose what you monetize within your account and they also will allow you to control it from your SoundCloud page, you know, and you can upload music directly to your SoundCloud page from within your, your Symphonic dashboard, which is cool too, you know. Then on top of the SoundCloud monetization, they do a lot of different promotional things, you know, like they have a uh, album promo plan now a lot of the promotional stuff is it comes at an extra cost like they charge about 445 dollars to make a lyric video and that to me is expensive you know they also charge have a uh, album promotional campaigns for 600 dollars, and that to me is on the lower end you know so it's like promotional campaigns can be really expensive you know now for the album pr promo campaigns they offer social media management they do a uh, profile enhancement. They do, uh, they give you two Instagram 30 second teaser visit videos. They do social media reskins where basically they'll cover your whole social media page with your album cover or whatever you choose. You know, they'll do two, they'll upload two new images per, per week during your campaign. They do, they'll do social media ads, you know, and the campaign will last about four weeks. Now, a lot of that stuff is stuff that you need to really get an album out there. You know, there's other ways that you can go about promoting your album for cheaper. But if you got it and you're a label or you're an artist with a marketing budget, then yes, yeah, Sym Symphonic and that album, uh, that album release campaign is really beneficial. In addition to that, like I said, they do the lyric video, they do video production, they do social media analysis, they 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 do Instagram promos, they do social media profile enhancements, they do logos, they write bios, they do EPKs, they do covers, you know. And again, all of that stuff is, you know, additional charges, but 
it's cool that they offer it nonetheless in one place you can find it all in one place rather than have to seek and seek out individual people to do the job but if you do seek out individual people to do the job you probably could find people to do it for cheaper now one thing that they do that a lot of other distributors don't do with the exception of i think one rpm is video distribution symphonic will uh get your music or get your music videos into vivo title and apple music for $75 per video. Another thing that they do that I think is awesome is pitching your music to playlists. And there's other distributors that pitch your music to playlists, but what I appreciate that they do is that they allow you to directly submit your music to them for playlist consideration within your Symphonic dashboard. So you can go in your Symphonic dashboard, hit a tab that will have a drop down menu and, 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 and one of the options says, hey, submit your music to for consideration and playlists and you click that button and you know you submit your music and they check it out and if they feel like it's something that they can pitch they'll pitch it now they make no promises but they do make the process of submitting your music for consideration really simple and easy you know so i appreciate that about them now all in all i say symphonic is a really good distributor from you know just the the eye test you know it's some it's a distributor i'm interested in you know they got they got my eye i was considering using them the only thing that made me apprehensive about using them was you know that 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 quality payments you know but outside of that you know they they they, they got my interest i might release something with them i don't know you know i'm thinking about it but if you use them man hit me up in the comments let me know your experience Make sure you like this video, share, comment, subscribe if you ain't do that. Donate to the channel, you know, support Pay Us No Mind, help keep us going. This is GIF, signing off, Pay Us No Mind. Peace.